I made this white oak box as a tribute to John Ruskin and for an article that was published in the December 2003 issue of Woodwork Magazine. John Ruskin was the leading philosopher of the arts and crafts movement and well deserves to be remembered. In addition to the use of white oak in this box, I made decorative steel corners and hardware from steel strapping to give it an early English arts and crafts flair. The decorative corners also give strength to the rabbited joints. Some of the features of this box are rabbited corners that make it easy to assemble, a solid wood lid, and a floating panel bottom. I use the steel strapping to make the hinges, the corner brackets, and latch at the front. I used a 3 inch diameter brass rod to form the pins in the hinges and clasps. When opened, the lid is stopped in its motion with a leather strap made from a boot lace. I formed small steel strap angle pieces with holes drilled to attach the leather strap. The steel came from the banding used to bundle materials for shipping and this particular banding was salvaged from an order of lumber that came much earlier in my career. I started by cutting pieces to length. Angle cuts are always more interesting than straight ones. After cutting to shape, drill the holes that will be needed to attach the pieces to the box. Additional cuts into the end of the pieces allow the creation of more decorative effects. A bit of hammering will help them to look hand forged. Use the vise to bend the corner pieces to 90 degrees. To make the parts for the hinges and latch required bending the ends to conform to the diameter of the brass stock being used as the hinge pins. I chose the diameter of the hinge pins to be 3 16 inch because no tighter bend could be formed using this banding stock. To make the box I used a simple technique forming rabbit joints on what will become the box ends. The joint is formed by making the first cut flat on the saw and then the second standing vertical along the fence. Next I made the dado cuts that hold the bottom in place and then formed the bottom in two steps. The first cut is made flat on the saw and then the second with the stock standing up alongside the fence. At this point I was ready to apply glue and assemble the box. Use tape to hold the corners tight as the glue sets. I used brass plated steel nails and had to pre-drill for each nail. You'll find a lot more box making information in my books about box making from Taunton Press.